pizza garage. Hey, it worked, didn't it? Come on, open the door. I can't believe you did that. Steve Marino, <laughs> the bodyguard, Jesus. I thought for a second that lifeguard was gonna kick my ass. I wish you fucking had. Look, I didn't see you pulling any great moves. You didn't see me acting like a retard either. <laughs> she asked to see my screen. It's not like it was my idea. You do not have to do it so loud. Listen, Ace, you can't chase tail in a three-piece suit, all right? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means that I will make a fool of myself any day of the week for a piece of axe. Okay, you gotta be willing to go in the distance. It's like rolling the hunt. Well, at least they accepted our invitation. I just hope it's worth it. Wait, worth it? Are you kidding me? Did you see those hooters? <laughs> I, I couldn't help but notice them, yes. A ten, right? <laughs> at least. What'd I tell you? Okay, so you got odd. But what I don't get is how they always travel in teams. Have you noticed that? Oh, right. Can you believe that Ronda girl? What a bitch. Like, two-man teams, like hitmen or something. There's always, like, this big, good-looking one, and then a little one that couldn't even get arrested. They look like the rhino and the little bird that sits on her back and eats bugs and shit. <laughs> I see them all the time at school dances and stuff. They always sit there with this real, like, take me on look, but they never dance with anybody. And every freshman in the joint just died to snake the one who was a real babe, but whenever you ask them to dance, they're all like, no, no thanks, I'm with my girlfriend. Exactly. Right. And no one's ever going to take the pig, so the box you won't see. It's like a defense mechanism. And if you could bet, if she ever saw a guy she really wanted, she would dish her friend in a second. But unless that happens, she could pretend she's got an oh, incredible loyalty to her girlfriend or something. Hey, how's my hair look? Looks pretty sharp, Ace. Looking alright? Up tight. Out of sight. <laughs> oh, hey, you want some cologne? Sure, what do you got? I got uh, Old Spice English Leather Brew. <laughs> I like that. No. Oh, I think we gotta go for broke tonight. Musk oil. Um, stuff's like nerve gas for girls. They smell like they're like paralyzed by it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. So, what's your game plan, coach? Well, the way I see it, this girl's gonna dump you. We gotta come on real smart. She's got class, huh? Class to her ass. She doesn't appreciate the caveman approach. <laughs> Essence of jockstrap? No, no, not her type. We gotta come on really smart. Mature. Culture. We gotta come on like Alistair Cook. <laughs> Alistair Cook. I'm not too old for this girl. Yeah, but you know what I mean. We find like a nice Italian restaurant. Some candlelight, wine, music, get a little of the dancing going, get the contact up, and then whenever we take a break from dancing, we're going on and on about like Khalil Gibran and Kurt Vonnegut. You know, kill them with our sensitivity. Did you say you've had a pretty good success rate with this technique? It's fucking dynamite. Oh no, come on, top numbers with me. How many? I don't know, my my whole freshman year? Yeah. Five, six? That means two. Maybe a couple more that you felt up before they found out you were a freshman. Look, buddy, college happens to be a fantastic place to score. You have no idea what you're missing. That may very well be true, okay? But with all due respect, we have one evening to operate here, not two semesters, okay? And while my old man is not spending thousands of dollars to put me through four years of summer camp, I think I have, in my own humble way, come up with a few points of practical interest. <coughs> May I? Please. Point number one. Surprise! Surprise. Yeah, look, key element, okay? They think we're taking them out to a nice restaurant, right? We're not? Oh! Picnic! <laughs> Moonlight! Isolation! 
What if they don't want to go on a picnic? You don't give chicks the choice, you idiot. They can tell them. <laughs> what if they don't want to go? Trust me, they'll go. If there's one thing chicks like more than getting laid, it's food. You just bring a bunch of food and brush the odors in their direction. I don't know. Okay, now you've caught them off guard, right? You're ready for point number two. Beer. <laughs> Plenty of it. <laughs> you bring a bunch of extra salty seafood to eat and make sure there's nothing non-alcoholic to drink. <laughs> right? You with me so far? I think so. <laughs> Point number three, talk dirty. Talk dirty. Yeah. yeah. Keep leading the conversations into areas that are just a little bit off color. I mean, chicks, they're going to pretend like they're all shocked, like, oh, but <laughs> actually, they find it tailing. <laughs> tailing, I think that word says it all, right? Is this what you did in high school? Just develop wait, the wait, system? Wait, wait. Point number four. Right? Divide and conquer. <laughs> Meaning? Meaning, we carve the gargoyle away from the ten, right? Deprive her of her natural ally. Then, one of us waves the red flag in front of this Rhonda creep, and the other one goes in for the kill. <laughs> we matadors use the same technique. <laughs> That's my plan. What do you think? Crude, but effective, might just work. Right. Repeat after me. Point one, surprise. Point two, beer. Point three, talk dirty. Point four, divide, conquer. One surprise, two, beer, three, talk dirty, four, divide and conquer. All right, I'm willing to give it a try, but it better work. They call me Rick the Stick for nothing. You <laughs> stick with the stick, you get an education you can count on. All right, you ready to go for the bench? All set on the tent. You get the 10. Good on the 10. Wait a minute. Huh. Who's going to walk the dog? <laughs> <laughs>